Welcome to our channel. My name is Yvette and this is Tyler. Come along with us as we sail the high seas or hit the open road while we navigate and explore this beautiful planet our way. Welcome back to part four of our RV renovation series. In this episode, we're gonna detail the making of our new kitchen table, our little side cabinet countertop, and also our floating center console. So stay tuned. As you can see, while the trucks were well built, their features are just past the time. So it's time to do some updating. We have decided to do a Yaki Sugi treatment on our table for the safari. It got out of hand though, so we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> we decided to carry on with the butcher block theme that we used on our TV console. If you missed that video, be sure to go back and watch part three. For the table, we ended up reusing the extending base and just putting a new top on that we shortened approximately four inches to give more room in the hallway. Moving on to the front center console, we found with the old one that it was kind of a catch-all and it always collect a lot of stuff. Phones, iPads, chargers, coin trays, etc. So on the new one, we decided that we wanted to have a space to accommodate some of those things. So we actually routed in pockets for the iPads to sit in and flush mounted a couple USB ports for charging. We came up with a floating console, which we thought was kind of cool looking and also gave a lot more clearance for getting in and out of the front seats. So when you're trying to conceptualize and you know build things out of an idea in your head there's lots of negotiations that go on to make it happen and that's where we're at the project was all hands on deck and even my uncle jeff got involved and we greatly appreciated his help Unfortunately, we didn't capture any footage of how the front edge attaches. However, it has a plate that slides under the dash, preventing it from sliding forward or tipping back. <laughs> well, I don't Smile! <laughs> the corner countertop was our easiest piece. We basically just cut it to size and reused the original mounting screws to mount it in place. Now that we have all of the components ready, I'm going to use mineral spirits to prep the wood for stain. This will remove all of the dust and debris from sanding. I did one coat on the sides because you can see here how dark it gets. And then I went ahead and do two coats on all the other surfaces. After the stain was set, I applied a satin sealer to protect the finish. This was my first time doing a project like this, so I was a little bit nervous, but I learned that you're supposed to do the brush strokes going one direction. The finished product turned out really well. We love the natural wood tones. And just like that, we have updated our trek with a new front console, kitchen table, and corner cabinet. Without the help from friends and family giving us the space, the tools, and the knowledge, none of this would have been possible. So we will be forever grateful. As if all of Steve's hard work wasn't enough, he also made me this cutting board for the countertop. Thank you for following along. Tune in next week for our big reveal.